Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this Linux terminal tutorial I'll be showing you how to use an application called Screen. So Screen is incredibly useful to run on a Linux server, so you don't have to keep an SSH connection open actively an entire time you want a process to run for. So the use case for it is uh, connect to a Linux server through SSH for my client system here. So if I want to run a job on that server, I would literally type the command in for the SSH connection. But the trouble is that server could take a long time, maybe days or anyway, just a longer time to run that command than I want to keep my client system on for, or even if I could guarantee that SSH connection is going to be active for. Because as soon as I close my client system, that's it, job stops. But where screen comes in, it runs on that server and allows the job to continue to run in a different terminal session. A terminal session which I can then connect into from my client system, then I can walk away, close my client system, then reopen my client system, go back to the server, and I can see the progress of that job. So it's a very useful thing to use on a Linux server. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use it, which actually is fairly simple, but I'll also show you a trick if you've forgotten to run the screen on the server, and then you want to move a job into it. So the way to use it is screen dash capital R. So capital R will either reconnect to an existing session or create a new session. So that'll be my new screen session. And if I do something, say echo hello world, then to detach from the screen, I press control A and then D. So that's detached from the screen. So I could close the terminal window, well, reopen it, put it back across this monitor. Uh, just got to switch my view because I use a different profile for the videos. Yeah. Then I go back to the screen, so screen dash capital R, and you can see my session there. So fairly simple to use there. If I want to permanently close that screen, then you can either use exit or the standard logout button, which is control D. So now if I do screen dash R, it's new session. And I'm going to start a new terminal window and we're going to run a process that can take some time. For example, this one here, which I'm not going to discuss because I don't know what is going on lately with YouTube, but yeah, it's something that could take a long time to run to work through a list, trying all sorts of combinations, let's say. Hours into running this job, I think, oh no, I forgot to run a screen and I'm not going to keep my client session open forever. Ah, let's go across to that screen session. So I'm going to use a program called RepTYR. Now that's available in the standard Linux repositories for quite a few different distros. Otherwise you're going to have to compile it from source if it is not available for your specific distro. Now I'm going to need the process ID of that application. So I'm going to do ps lowercase a, and I can see it there, which is PID 3441. So with a program called RepTYR, I'm going to try and grab hold of PID 3441 to drag it into this terminal. So from the currently running version here to this screen. So what you might find is it's not necessarily going to work first time. So I've got operation not permitted. So I'm gonna to have to elevate my rights to root. So I'm gonna do sudo rep tyr dash capital T and then the same process ID. Now what should happen is it will grab that long winded process and put it across to here. Is it? Should do. It's currently not doing much at the minute, is it? Now it hasn't pulled it across, which is really embarrassing because every other time I have run this, it does work. <laughs> oh, there, there it goes. There it goes after a bit of struggling. So yes, it has now brought that uh, long-winded process across. So I can walk away from it, so I can detach it with Control A and D. Close that, and could go back into it. So yeah, just open that again. Then with screen dash R, and reconnect to it. Oh, that looks fancy, doesn't it? Ah, oh, it's because I've got a different size font now, haven't I? Yes, I should have switched the profile first. Ah, oh, there we go, looks fine now. And for the last thing I'll show you is actually detaching the process entirely from the terminal and leaving it to run in the background. Well, not just backgrounding it, but disowning it. And that's the clue to the name of the application I'll be using, disown. So let's demonstrate this with a graphical user interface program this time, a GUI program. Firefox, for example. I want to close this terminal window and leave Firefox running. So if I do Control Z, which will stop Firefox, and you'll notice now I can't do anything, 
then if I background task, type in BG, you'll notice it now works as I can now type something. I want to get rid of this terminal window and not just leave the process forked in the background. So I'm going to type in disown, disown dash H, and then the process, which is actually listed there as process one this time, not the PID, but a backgrounded process. So I'm going to disown that. I can close the terminal window and there's Firefox continuing to run in the background. So that was a look at using screen, moving a process into screen, and then disowning a process. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.